Let's look at solving this equation. x over 2 plus 5 is equal to x over 3. Now this is an awkward equation because, as you can see, it's got two different fractions involved in it. And you've also got this plus 5 on the left-hand side. So it's not just the case that we've got one fraction on the left and one fraction on the right. We've got this plus 5, so we've got two terms on the left. So that makes it a slightly more awkward question. OK, I'm going to do this in two basic stages. The first thing I'm going to do is look at these two bottom lines here. And I notice there are different numbers. One's a 2 and one's a 3. The first thing I'm going to do is change them so they're both the same number. And the number I'm going to change them to is the number 6, which is known as the LCM, or the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3. It's the smallest number that both 2 and 3 will go into. If you think about it, that number is just simply 2 times 3, which is 6. So what I'm going to do is change both of these fractions to being over 6. How can I do that? Well, it's very straightforward. Any fraction can be changed into another fraction which is the same as it by multiplying or dividing the top and the bottom by the same number. If you divide the top and the bottom by the same number, it's called cancelling down a fraction, like two quarters is the same as a half. But you are allowed to multiply top and bottom numbers by the same thing. For example, a half is the same as two quarters if you double top and bottom. So what I'm going to do here is actually times the bottom number by 3 to get 6. And as long as I times the top number by 3, these two fractions are the same thing. So I'm changing that into that, that into that. I'm going to do the same thing for this fraction over here. I'm going to change the 3 into the 6 by doubling it. So to keep the fraction the same, I must double the top number. So the x becomes 2x. And I'm going to leave the plus 5 unchanged. So that fraction's the same as that, that fraction's the same as that, and that stays exactly the same. You don't touch that plus 5. How do I now deal with this? What I've got to do now is simply multiply and get rid of this 6. So this is share by 6. What I'm going to do is multiply this by 6. 3x share by 6, if I times it by 6, I just get 3x. Now, what you've got to remember is, if you are multiplying something in an equation by 6, you have got to multiply every single term by 6. Let me give an example with a sum. If I had a nice easy sum, I don't know, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. If I times that number by 6, you get 6. Now, if I get another statement coming out that is also true, I've got to times them all by 6 for it to be true. So, plus, times that by 6, I get 12. Times that by 6, I get 18. As long as you multiply everything by 6, you still get a true statement come out, coming out. It's a different statement, but it's still a true statement for this particular question. So, if I get rid of that, OK, so I've times that by 6. To keep this a true statement, then, I must times that by 6. Well, 5 times 6 is 30. I now times this by 6. Well, 2x share by 6. If you times it by 6, you just get the 2x. So the 6 just disappears from the bottom. So we end up with all the fractions totally disappearing. We now look at x's on both sides. We see we've got more x's on the left. 3x is more than 2x. So I'm going to collect the x's on the left. Take the numbers to the right. So 3x, leave it alone on the left. The 2x goes over to the other side, becomes a minus 2x, swap signs. And the plus 30, that needs to be dragged across to the right-hand side. It swaps signs because it swaps sides. So it becomes a minus 30 on the right. And now we tidy up. On the left-hand side, 3x's take 2x's. That's a single x. And on the right-hand side, negative 30. And that is the answer. x equals minus 30 is the solution to this equation.